सो वॉट इज़ अ पीपल वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट टेरा ग्रंट सो टेरा ग्रंट इज़ अ टेरा फॉर्म रैपर इट अलाउज अस टू हैव सम अदर फीचर्स दैट टेरा फॉर्म डज नॉट हैव सो वी कैन एड सम दो फीचर्स टू आवर टेरा फॉर्म कोड सो लेट्स गेट इट स्टार्टड so as you know tera grunt is a tera form wrapper so it allows us some other features so these are some features that tera grunt allows us with we can add on with tera form so it says like keep your tera form code dry and keep your remote configuration dry keep your architecture dry and so what is dry so it basically means do not repeat yourself right do not repeat yourself so what does it mean by do not repeating yourself it means like in some scenarios when you are writing some terraform code for, for provisioning your infrastructure sometimes you may have some repeat repeatable code in your some other directories right so let's say you want to create some two instances two ec2 instances let's say let's say one is for front end and one is for back end right and you have two directories for terraform for adding terraform code for these two instances provisioning and one is for like one is front end and one is back end and in each directory you will have your terraform scripts how you will have your main.tf where you will specify your instance configuration and you will you will have a provider.tf where you will specify the provider let's say aws provider and you will have backend.tf as well so it completely depends on you like you keep these files separate or you can add your provider or backend in the main.tf right so in backend you will add backend as s3 and you will add your prefix or key inside your s3 bucket so where you want to store the terraform state file so in the front end you will add front end right and in the backend one you will have the same files but you have some only some some different configurations for the back end or from for the front end so in this also you have a provider.tf right and in this you have backend.tf and let's say in this backend.tf you have a file for for the backend for and you are also setting backend to s3 and let's say your bucket name is same you are, are taking the same bucket for storing the state file for front end and for backend but you are keeping the prefix and the folder let's say inside the bucket for different different folders for storing st state file for front end or for backend so in this front end you are storing as a front end folder and here you are storing as a backend folder right so only some changes you have inside your both folders in terraform scripts right but you are repeating your code right you are repeating you are adding the same code here in backend.tf you are adding the same code here in backend.tf and also in provider also you are configuring the same provider in the same in in both directories so you are also repeating the provider one so teragrant here solves your problem teragrant and also one problem is also here let's say you want to create front end instance and back end instance at the same time so what you will do you first you will go to the front end directory and you will run terraform commands right then you will go to the back end directory you will run terraform commands so teragrant says you can run all your commands terraform commands on multiple modules at once so it means on your parent root directory where these two directories uh, are stored you can directly run teragrun to run all command and you can run the modules multiple modules of terraform at once right so let's see what will be the teragrun structure here so in teragrun we will keep the same configuration we want to create two instances here one is for front end and one is for back end so let's say this is our root directory right and here we have a folder for the front end right and we have a folder for the back end right and here in the terraform configuration what we have we had main.tf provider and back end also but here if we are using teragrunt we will be using teragrunt 
so if we are using telegram so we will not keep provider and backend in the both directories we will we will keep a telegram dot hcl file here telegram dot hcl file here in the root directory where are these two directories are stored right these are directories and this is a file telegram dot hcl and in front end directory we will have our main dot tf and here we will also have a telegram dot hcl file right so we need to keep telegram dot hcl file in every folder here in the backend also we will have the main dot tf and we will have telegram dot hcl file right so what we will add in root directory so here in in this root hcl file where we have this telegram dot hcl file here we will add the configuration for our backend also and for our provider and in these like in these child directories files telegram.hcl files we will add a, a telegram block that block says if we go to our vs code so you can see we will add this block include root so it basically means we will include the root file the root telegram file here so what it will be do what it will do so whenever you will run any telegram command using telegram so it will fetch the backend configuration from root telegram.scl file and provider configuration and it will create the backend also here and the provider also here automatically and this will this will do the same for the front end uh, for the front end or for the backend so now question is that in backend we have we have to specify the prefix right for in the bucket like where we will store the state file let's say in, in the in our state backend we will store for back for front for front end we will have the folder s3 in in s3 bucket we will have have the folder fe or for the back end we will have the folder be or something so we can specify here it will fetch the parent directory so if this directory is back back end so it will create a back end folder inside the bucket and there it will store the state file right and as same for the front end it will keep this directory name and it will create a directory front end inside your bucket and it will create the tf state file right so it is it makes it really easier to manage our multiple modules of terraform and running all at once and now let's say you want to run these two configurations at once so what you will do you just need to go to your root directory where you have your all configurations for telegram and here you will run telegram run all and after this run all you can add any terraform command that you want to run if you want to initialize you can run init if you want to plan you can apply you can run plan command just after this and just after this you can run apply command so these commands are same as we have in terraform but here we will run these using telegram so that is the only thing now let's go to our vs code and let's see our directory structures here so here one folder I have for Terraform. So this is the Terraform configuration I have here. So I have two folders, two directories here inside this Terraform directory. So one is for front end and one is for the Jenkins. So for the front end, I will I'm creating a Google Compute instance, and for the Jenkins, I am also creating a Google Compute instance, right? And here you will see the backend. I have the same backend. Right, I have back in GCS and here I am adding the prefix as front end and here in Jenkins I am adding the prefix as Jenkins. So when I am keep this prefix Jenkins and front end, so inside my bucket it will create two folders, one is for front end and one is for Jenkins. So it will store the state file in that. So now inside using Terraform, if I want to run Terraform files for front end, so I need to go to front end directory. And if I run, if I need to run the Jenkins Terraform script, so I need to go to the Jenkins directory. Now here, let's go to our Terragrunt Grunt configuration. So in Terragrunt, Grunt, you, we have a root file here in terragrunt.hcl, right? So this terragrunt.hcl, we have 
two configurations one is for provider here you can see generate provider path will be provider.tf so it will create a provider.tf here so you can see it has created the provider.tf so here you can see it is gen generated by Terragrunt and also we have to generate the backend and in the backend you can see we have prefix here path relative to include so relative it will include the relative path for the backend if you go to backend it will, you can see I have specified the prefix right how I have specified path relative to include and I after that I have added state here right so let's see how we can run our Terragrunt files Terragrunt scripts so we have to provision two instances here two Google compute instances but we don't need to go any to any directory here to front end or Jenkins or running one by one these Terraform scripts what we need to do here I'll just go to Terragrunt root directory here you can see I have Terragrunt.scl file and front end and Jenkins directory now here I will run Terragrunt run all init command so you will see it is saying here we it, it has two modules group in group one it has front end module for, and the Jenkins module so it will run the Terraform scripts for the both of modules here so it is saying successfully initialized now we can just run the same command Terragrunt run all plan so here you will see it is saying one to add for this group for this module and for this module one to add now the same we can run apply command as well run all apply you can say yes so now it is creating our two instances here you can see one is react to do app and one is jenkins server so this is how Terragrunt works and uh, you can use Terragrunt features for adding into your Terraform code. So it will make it really easier to manage multiple modules for Terraform. So my two instances are added here. It is saying resource one added and resource one added here. Now same if I want to destroy I can run the same command Terragrunt run all destroy. So it will destroy the infrastructure as well using Terragrunt. So that was all about Terragrunt. How you can start using Terragrunt? You just you can just go to the documentation of Terragrunt, and here you will get a lot of things to get started with Terragrunt. So here you can see he has the features of Terragrunt, like keep your Terraform code dry and keep your remote configuration dry. So if you, you just go through the, to the documentation, go through the documentation and you can find a lot of things and you can start working with Terragrunt. So thanks for tuning into my channel. I hope you found the content valuable. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos. Thanks again and I will see you in the next video.